Yo, what's up, compadres? Welcome back to another episode. Is your host with the most from the West Coast, SB Press, reporting live from Mastermind Media. And as always, I got the fellas with me. To my left, Ilsa himself. Yep. And to my right, Rizadi himself. What's happening, mother? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we got a problem. Because we got too many wannabes on, on, on everywhere. So make sure when y'all look for us, it's C O M P O D. R E S P O D emphasis on the pod. pod that a all that other stuff and all that disrespect we see it clever we see it so when the success comes we hope y'all see that too and like that compadres let's go man yeah. how'd you guys feel after that Foster episode seriously oh man yeah it was amazing bro. I I watched it like twice. I mean, I, I helped. I know we all go through editing and we do help editing, but I helped do the edits and I watched it. Dude, like that man, I don't think I've ever been touched by my, my heart just bleeds when, I mean, you saw the, the repost I did a day about it. Mm -hmm. That man is unbelievable. The mo he's more inspiring than anyone I've ever met. I'm going to just put it out there. And I've met a lot of people. That man was such an inspired. He inspired me so much in his words and what goes on in life. And everything he went through. And, and now where he's at. And I mean, this his whole story. Never heard anything about it. By far, it... I mean, I'm get emotional thinking about it. And he's gonna appreciate that. that. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's, I mean, that's just straight facts. So I mean, you guys saw the messages that came through last night. Sure. You know, yeah, he, yeah, for sure. He's very, very excited for what's to come after what he saw just walking in the door. Talking I think a to lot us. of people are, man. You yeah. know, yeah. Saint, yeah. calling us very intelligent people, and smart. Yeah, and stuff. Of course, of course. Just of course. off the bat. Yeah. It's dope. What do we got, man? Boys' night, right? Yes, boys' night. It's, it's, what is it? I was, I was gonna ask how you felt what, about Foster though, but man. it's boys' night. Oh, I, I, I said I said I started with what I said about Foster, man. Oh, oh my bad. My Joe bad. said everything, dude. What do you he want did, me? He to, did. He did. What do you, what do you, oh, he did. He almost I mean, had a tearjerker. He, tear he, he, he almost so. had a tear a tear yeah, no, he, 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 but guy, dude. But Joe got the best part right now. Joe, let them know what time it is, brother. It's the weirdo of the fucking week. You're weird. And since it's been a while since boys has done boys night, yeah, fellas, let's just yeah. go ahead and wrap it up with the weirdos of the month. Yeah, I have can, a strong one, and we can and have a couple of these very, today, right? This one's it's this one's more so for the kids and the up and comers okay. who who watch these things and take these things for granted or just think it's cool. My weirdo of the month is Ja Morant, flat out. Mm. I get it. It's like you know beating a dead horse, but also there's more investigations coming out of this. There's more coming out, and it's unfortunate that the image that he portrays out there is what the kids are going around portraying. So it's just unfortunate that he's not really taking hold of the the blessing God really gave him, Word. and just throwing it all That's away true. just to look yep. cool on Instagram. Wait, what happened? I, I I don't know what happened. So he's already been shown twice, you know, flashing a weapon. Then it came back that he said one of the one of the weapons was a toy. Now that wasn't an immediately announced and it wasn't flashing the camera. And I don't think anyone's gonna pull the camera down that fast for a toy. But even if it's a toy, why are you playing with that and the kids idolize you? You know, Nike did not stop right, the right. Nike didn't stop with yep. what they should have stopped. Right. Kids are still gonna buy the shoes, so it's like it's not stopping anything. Is the message really getting through? Yeah. So my word of the week is John Morant. Or sorry, the month. It's been a hell of a month for that. Well, I think we all have a couple on this because we haven't done it in a while. Well, I'm well, going well, to well, throw a mark in there because he didn't even know who he is. Hold on one second. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say, yeah, man, on top of that, he beat up the 17-year-old. He he went up to the mall to fight his mom's, the guy at the, yeah. at the shoot, foot locker. His mother called um, him up there for a mile. I mean, you, you got you got a lot of different things, man, and plus him throwing up gang signs. And, like, if what you is ain't this guy gang, doing, bro? Don't do it. Yeah, he has been weird. And, and, and. We're on the brink of Adam Silver, and uh, yep, we're going to find happens. out yeah. what happens. Yep, I mean the finals happen, and yeah, can you imagine the Nuggets two hundred million dollars away? You're talking about <sighs> generational wealth that can change, not just the next, the next, and the next if they do everything correctly. Yeah. And is that really worth flashing toy guns? And I, I don't think it's a toy. I of think course it's a not. Lie. Of course not. That's why I gave him the quotes. Which is just, it don't matter just, if it's a toy, whatever just, it is, it doesn't matter. He can't do that in that position who he is. Yeah, He's like, a role model for everybody. He he got one chance, and he shouldn't get, I mean, he, and he gets another one, like, come on, man. 
think he's got sixty five million of his contract, and that's that's it. crazy. And the well, most that, well, he's still got that. Yeah, but the most important thing he does have is a child. Right. No, of course. Who yeah. who definitely deserves better. Oh. And no disrespect to his parents or anything like well, that. Well, his parents. I'm not trying to say he, but again, if you know better. You do better. Well, T. Morant, and, too, man. Come on, man. I mean, I can't. you can't really say too much with the dad. You know, just, you know, he's one of the, you know, the boys. Shannon Sharp said more to him than he did. Yeah, hey, Shannon. <laughs> that was a very terrible uh, departure, too. It was. That yeah, that's good. Oh, so, Joe? What you got, Joe? For oh, I got a right couple. Up? And then one's going to be real quick because I was with you today. <laughs> yes. And, uh, no, I went up to CP, dude, because I take Howie up there and I'll get my little my coffee drink or whatever and we're sitting on the side and how he's you know he's just he always protects him he's barking a little bit this dude comes by and he's walking like this oh yeah what's up and he goes <laughs> like, he ain't barking at me no nah, man those are talking when you and i go you know i just got out of the gym and shit and, I'm like, and, like, and i'm like i'm just sitting there i'm looking at p and p i got my program in you know <laughs> and he's like oh god bless you brother like no yo i got this you know how it I goes got this, this and all right man and, yeah. and he goes, he ain't going to do nothing to me. He goes, no, he goes, I'm just going to make sure. I'm like, dude, like, dude. It, was, it was more the way he was. He was just, I mean, with the intent that you were walking with, you wanted somebody yeah, to do I mean, something he, to he was just like, like sitting there looking down the block, bro. Like, I mean, I'm not. He was walking then, like a fresh out. If, yeah. if you guys know, he was walking like a fresh out. And that shit was funny as hell today when that happened. That was a very weird, weird person. Yeah. So the point is that he was this dude is just flexing down yeah, the street. Yeah, just flexing, just flexing. That's crazy. You and, know, it, and if you came through the gym, you came from the wrong end. I have, <laughs> I have a, a theory about that. And correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys think, I think when people are too busy trying to be rah 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 and try to be scary, they're actually the ones who's showing that scared. Yeah. No, it's I their get defense you. mechanism. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm scared, so don't bother me. And they try to think it's the opposite. Like, hey, I'm tough, and it's like actually. Tough guys don't really have to say, do They're tough. That anything. That's a fact. You know what we do? Just move in silence. Uh, well, there you go. That's why I like that. But uh, on a real one, uh, John Amos. Did you guys hear about this? Mm-mm. Oh, so we're Enlighten doubling me. up. We're doubling right, up. Right? Right? Double, we haven't done it in a while. Let's okay, double up. Okay, quick. double Enlighten up. Double up. Enlighten that was a me. quick one. That was a quick one. Okay. Double up. So did you guys hear about this? He got physically and mentally abused in a retirement home. Wow. And he is now in, in, I believe he was in ICU in Tennessee, and the police are involved and the dollar are involved to see what happened. And it just, that's just disgusting, I've bro. seen that. It was, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just horrible because I never met the man, but just seeing him over the years, he was so funny and so genuine, and he always said anything good, and someone's going to do that. I mean, not just because it's him, but no one should do that to any kind of human being ever. Yeah. Com- that was that complete. clip, right? Yeah. That was that clip I sent. You remember yeah. the yeah. one where he was talking about money, yeah. about the banks, and passed it over. Yeah, that was a couple of years back. So it's sad to see him in yeah. this position. It right really now. is. And yeah. I guess still no result from from back then, huh? Yeah. What are we doing? Well, you know, I mean, some of the people, you know, older people, and you know, I've been through it. You know, you got to retire them to a center like that because they can't take care of themselves no more. And you pray that these people that you're paying good money to take care of them. So it's unfortunate when that happens. Help your loved ones out. <laughs> take care of your loved ones yourself because you don't want these type of situations to happen to them. True. Seriously. True, very true. All right. You, you got a weirdo? I, I definitely do. <laughs> yes. I, I thought you were going to double up. Oh, no. no. Okay, Joe. I was Joe trying to hear you. Know that, dude, that was just a little double up. Because <laughs> I, I can feel like. My weirdo is about to be the worst. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I gotta, no, he's going through I got a weirdo. Just trying to yeah, double because we had that experience today. That shit was it, funny it, as Cock dude. Diesel was looking like bro. I mean, it was just funny. Flow. I liked how you from both. The fifth flow. You both did it, though, right? Oh, so, dude, it was, so it's people. Yeah. And dude, he it. was a big dude. He didn't need to do all the it, it looked like he was like constipated and like just. <laughs> yeah. So it was just a weird. Yeah, it was a weird. Yeah. Anyways, how he did what he was supposed to do. Let's see. Bark at that weirdo. <laughs> The dog Howie, right? Yeah, yeah. Joe's yeah. dog Howie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. What you got for us, Lance? Uh, speaking of dogs, that's a great segue for me. Uh, the weirdo of the month to me is uh, Los Angeles Police Department and the donations they got for this police dog, robot police dog, correct? And if you can see, we got it here on back of the screen so mm-hmm. everybody at home can see what we're talking about. Now, in this article, they discuss how they received donations for this and it's active right now this is going to be on the streets and it's going to be recording gunshots it's going to be running up on people that are in crimes filming them chasing cars uh i don't know what else to say. can you believe this is this is is this not 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm about to go in. Shot. So let me you know when. Yeah, if somebody I'm, had a gun, right, and just started shooting this thing, like well, that's it doesn't happen. But I'm just saying, like you can get the snipers out there from 400 yards. Well, criminals, <laughs> right? You got a four or five on you. I mean, I'm about to go in. So let me know when y'all ready. That's this just one everybody wants to f with something now. <laughs> We're gonna bring back grind our gears because this one is grind mine. Yeah, yeah, Biggest yeah. pet peeves, all that. Let let this know. one is about to get me. Let me hear y'all, man. What do y'all gotta think? With what do all think? due respect to every officer out there, and I know a few personally, uh -huh. to every officer out there that actually does their job, not like training day, but actually does their job. <laughs> this. Jake. <laughs> this right here is the laziest crap that I've seen. By me too. And man will always be better than machine. And and you guys are trying to rush everything into the and I work in I work in, in customer service. So what I tell a lot of people is, hey, you guys will be praying for the days that human beings are still back working here because right. you guys are trying to rush us into these robot and robots and um what is that? The uh, self checkouts. When you're one or two cents short, those robots are not going to have empathy or sympathy for None. that. None. So you won't be able to get anything. So you want to leave that in your hand. Like, there's so much other things that we can be doing with our money. Right. I, I want to see him collide with the uh, the, the robot food. <laughs> well, they're, 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 these are million dollar that's what machines. I don't that's don't what even I go see. in on yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I want to see. These things are homeless stuff going on. I don't you These said things LAPD? are supposed to be crazy, man. Well, I, I want to, I mean, it, yeah, it's, I don't it's even want to go in, The only bro. thing I can think, only thing, the only positive thing, one. only positive thing I can think of is, is that they're able to pick up gunshot sounds so they can alert the police like okay. gunshots were a mile and a half away. Because they're mobile. Well, the oh, other thing it, is, oh, it, go ahead, Joe. I mean, the other thing is, it's yellow like that. Maybe if someone sees it, they won't do some shit they shouldn't do. Well, there's mm. cameras all over. Or what if you so, know what I'm saying? What I if mean, like because I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I was just thinking like, that, that, damn, that's, you, still, you that's the only thing right I can look. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, or, or if like a dangerous situation where if a if, if a cop goes in, it could be too dangerous. They yeah. can send that in first yep. and look around yeah. and then know. That I could see that. They would do that with the bomb robots, right? Right. But this is this is a part of the police force. Yeah. Hopefully, this starts delivering me my California Chicken Cafe. So let me. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just had that last week. And it was a bomb. <laughs> That's a good point, dude. But also just to add to that as well, it's like, okay, it's in the police department, right? Yeah, it is. So how many police is in the department to where they can't do the job that they're hiring this thing for? Uh, it, it, it got done when it when they said to bunk uh, the, the police, you know how that whole thing yeah, got it. We, we don't do get that. on that, but <laughs> you know that, 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 that whole thing came on there. But we don't let that slide. you know they're like, hey, let's 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 uh, you know. Mm -hmm. So is this the one that can like do the flips and tricks too? It can do a lot, dude. Okay, you, you I'm, I'm still not team me robot. Neither. Me neither. Or well, team I, I want to see. I want to see the dog go after the food robot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, let, uh, let's, uh, let's sanction that. Yeah, I like to see that. Robot wars. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Joe walking up to uh, the gas station with walking one of these. <laughs> How are you going to be so pissed with you? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's that was hilarious. Yeah, you sure. want to double back on that? No, nah, dude. I, I, I think I, that was I good. Think we all got the weirdo part out yeah, the way. So we smooth. got some let it fly, right? Yeah, we flying. Are we, are right. we riding right into that? I apologize for this week. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give you all a treat. We're going to let it fly on you guys. Mark, please let it fly. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> ching, 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 ching. I can only. You know who did I this. know who sent this. You know who sent the ching, ching. And I know <laughs> what I know. Boys' night is so on the way. So, do we want to let him go? <laughs> go ahead, Joe. Oh, man, that's. Uh... I'm gonna keep calm. It's boys' night. We need to chill. No, that's that's a beautiful thing right now. It's, it's nice for us to do this again. You know? Yeah, we've been so busy, you know, having all these uh, extraordinary guests on and everything else, and it's good to just because this is where it's all started. You yeah. know, and it's a beautiful thing. We all get together and talk shit or roast each other or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. So it's it, this is a good time. It's huh? so funny because usually you and I have in the back and forth. It feels better when I'm like in the middle of it now. <laughs> like, oh, no. Now I can officially again say monkey in the middle. <laughs> um, I really, I, I, I miss this, honestly. Uh. Like, I have to take a breath to really take it in, like to, to just let you guys know, like, Boys Night is what got us here. All of our individual work got us here yep, collectively as sure. a team. And that's all, that's all you can ask for, man. Like, that's all I think we ever really wanted, right. you know, just form like Voltron and, you know, just take off. And man, dude, sky's a freaking limit. 
and Boys Night is where it's at. I'm glad we're back doing that. Now, we will still be doing our thing with some guests and stuff. We've got some stuff to treat. But Boys Night was long overdue, for sure. Cool. Yeah, man. Agreed. 41 is a good episode to start it back on. So, uh, yeah, man, I, I enjoy Boys Night, for sure. We chop, chop, chop it up, have a good time, talk about what we want to. But, you know, guests are always awesome, too. So, mm-hmm. But it's always good to to give back to, you know, let people know who we are. Right? Agreed. And we're going to do a lot of that in this episode, compadres. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. Three, two, one. I can't read from yeah, the middle, this, so somebody this, read from me. I got you. Once every six months, this man in South Dakota climbs this communication tower to change the light bulb. He's paid $20,000 per climb. I'm not afraid of heights, so where do I sign up? It's 1,500 feet up in the air, bro. Where do I sign up? I'm not uh, afraid of heights. God right. got me, man. I'm telling God you. God got me, man. Hey, I think you might be the only one in this room, bro, because <laughs> I saw that again, the video Say that again. How, how many feet? I think it was 1,500. <laughs> I, because this, I mean, me and Lance talked about this the day when we saw it, and I just liked the piece because I thought it was funny, you know? <laughs> Not funny, but it's like, bro. It's extreme. 1,500 feet straight up on the that video is crazy. Pool. Yeah, the video is crazy. If you guys haven't seen it from home, I mean, the guy is just climbing up by himself, and he's got to have someone down there below. But 1,500 square feet of that. Mm. 20 racks, but whatever. You said, guy got you, which you, 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 you'll pull that off? Yeah. So you realize you, you see that yellow cord? Yeah, he's got to clip it, it and, and then yeah, move yeah. up a couple steps, clip yeah. it and then move up. Oh, man. I, 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 get, I get scared watching VR. I don't have a really. problem with going up. <laughs> I think I just need like something to just let me just kind of like fast slide down. That's the thing. That's right? the only thing for me. Because coming down is even harder, right? Because yeah. you're like all the way up there, right? You get up there, you don't look down and then you get all the way up there and now you got to look down. So you're like, uh. the looking down wouldn't be an issue. It'll just be the going down. Yeah. I can I can click, look click. down, but just going down, I'd probably I don't know. It's just the the extra tedious work just getting down. I was a kid that um, <laughs> rest in peace, my grandfather. We li- um He was a property manager and uh, he had the biggest ladder, and a right. lot of the kids uh, around would always get their their stuff stuck on the the highest roof. Mm-hmm. And my daredevil self was always the one going up and getting it. So I'm not afraid <laughs> of heights. But it'd take me forever just to come down. <laughs> right. So, yeah, he would be out there. I'm not going to advise you to try that for 20000 <laughs> but you know, if you want to. But, Mark, what do you think about that? <clears throat> <laughs> Let me think about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's got his harness on. He's, you know. He's got his harness on. <laughs> so, um, I, I think there's a time in my life where I would have done that. And that time is not right now. <laughs> but uh, I'm very competitive, so... You put twenty thousand. If it's like a twenty thousand dollar bet, wow! You, you think it's a bet? <laughs> if it was a job. bet, I'd probably be like, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it to prove you wrong. You, but you, you know, you got a 50, 50 chance if you drop if fall seven feet, right? What do you mean? If you fall down seven feet, you have 50, 50 chance of living. And if you row, you got a sixty five. No, so I mean, I, 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 I've heard that. My, I knew some people working steels mills and everything else back back in. Uh, I had some friends from Chicago, and they were telling me about that shit, and they said that's you got 50-50 chance, so I'm good. My grandfather worked in a steel mill, so yeah. 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 Wow. 40 bands. Uh, what we got next? All right. I got I got one more uh, for you guys because we did have this this dude. Uh-oh. But we're not. We we already talked about him. We did talk about <laughs> him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, gang, gang. Yeah, so we ain't mm-hmm. got to talk about that. All right, here's our last one. How you guys feel about <laughs> this one? Hey. Okay. I'm, nope. There's certain things that you just should not get this bleep in. There's certain shit you should not with. There you go. Seriously. Facts. Original never should have been duplicated. This is garbage. Like garbage. And the fact that like I get it, they're just trying to sell something. They're actually taken away from this greatness by putting this car, this, somebody else go, go, just go. go. (laughs) This This is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so disappointing yeah, it was. that no I'm not going to watch the shit is no one can think outside the box of everything with all these remakes over the years that have happened in this one there's no way I'm watching it I didn't watch Point Break I'm not going to watch this I watched it dude and uh, you know and I watched it just to just get my own opinion on it and it was terrible yeah, yeah. there's no way yeah. Yeah. especially with Rosie's fine ass I think I think he said it. I think <laughs> Preston said I mean come on man I mean yeah. phew. Yeah. That was one of the nostalgic movies that we yeah, grew up was. on. You damn right it was. And then you got Jack Harlow and whoever that is. They met. They did the same thing with Space Jam. Yeah, the LeBron one. Yes. Well, I think the CGI made it a little. 
different. I and mean, if, the you, actors, if you could talk about the movies they shouldn't have remade, that one shouldn't be it. I mean, what's this the, give, give me one another one that shouldn't be that. Well, that's got to be um, the top. Give me another one. The remake of Aladdin. Okay. Yeah, that was trash. And I think you said it, man. Point Break was a bad, Point Point terrible, was a bad one. Mm-hmm. Terrible remake. This gives me, this is making, this gives me bad juju. I'm just, they just, you cannot mess with that. Like, I better not see, or I better be gone. <laughs> I better not see in my lifetime a remake of He Got Game. <laughs> nah, you, you nah, don't you understand nobody's what gonna Jesus touch, shows uh, worth uh, me. Uh, nobody's going to touch uh, so like, Spike Lee shit. Den- uh, nobody can outdo Denzel. Uh, what about Carlito's Way? They did, they did. They did. They did. I didn't. They did, I didn't. Did, I, didn't did. I watched the second. It was okay. I didn't, I didn't they made three the of them, one. didn't they? They did. I know, but the, first but the second one, one was supposed to be so like good, a dude. Uh, I thought the second one was cool. I mean, uh, the first one was. I definitely just don't great. believe in that shit. That's just yeah. who I am. I just. I don't know. Well, I mean, you oh, know. newsflash, they're gonna remake Scarface. Nah, I am. Well, you yeah. know, but the, you know, they've they been did talking about that shit for a long time. Well, you know, no, because my my great grandfather, who a lot of people don't know, I never met the man. I never even met my real grandfather because you know, the, God rest their souls, they both died of heart attacks. You know, but my great grandfather was the original Scarface back in like nineteen eleven or fifteen or some shit like that. So, like I said, like Joey Mitts, that's yeah. where it came from because he was strangling. Him. No, I mean it was just the middle. Of, I just don't think they should. I don't know. I, I like I said. Come on, man. Uh, I mean, come on, man. I mean, if they remakes are just not good for me to watch. I just mm-hmm. don't have no time. There's a new material. It. There's yeah. things you can, just can't touch. Seriously. It's going to be years for anything's made anyway. So what are we talking about? Yeah, there you go. Right. right. So, fellas, we got our subscriber question of the week. And this person definitely wants to be anonymous for whatever reason it is. <laughs> the question is, give the audience at home five intangible things that you cannot live without. All right. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, we, I guess that's, so that's what socials, right? Stuff that we can't touch, right? Is that, is that correct? Right. Intangible. Yeah. Things that we. Non-physical. Non-physical things. things. Love. Respect. Uh, loyalty. Am I taking them all? No. Um, let's say. Um, dang. Curiosity. And maybe spirit, uh, spirit, spirit, spirituality, Spiritual, spirituality. I never fumble spirituality. There you go. There we go. There we go. You got some. He got some flows in his head. That's why <laughs> he always got some flows in his head, y'all. Um, for me, it would be. I guess I'll add a word before the respect, self-respect. Okay. Because if you respect yourself, you will respect me. Cool. And I'll guess I'll add another word to love, self-love. If you love yourself, then you'll be right. able to be loved by others right. and be able to love others. Sure. Um, let's say um, that's a good two. Lance so got some good ones. Bro, that's why he was like, dude, I got Lance put them all out. It's there. Tough. It's, I, that's what I said. I'm taking them all. The he, Five he, is uh, tough. Uh, you know what? You're doing well. You know what? Family. Because I don't believe in friends. I feel like we're at the point to where family exceeds over minimal friendships and stuff like that. Yeah. And real family is not who shares the same blood with you. It's the one who's willing to bleed and die for you. Right, right, right. We talked about that. That's what it is. Real family is the ones who are willing to breed and breed and die for you. For sure. I think you should leave some more for Joe because we (laughs) I'm gonna figure this out. (laughs) Happiness. Okay. 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 There we go. That that's that's a big thing for me. Um <laughs> I had it. I can't say that one because that's the same word. Um, shit. Skepticism. No, hold on. Let me just do this. <laughs> you, know, you guys, you guys did take them all, but I know that's a good question. Bravery. From them. Bravery's one. Bravery. No one's hit Ooh. that one. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, you did. Being um, camaraderie. Camaraderie. Camaraderie is one that's okay. that's important to me with people. Um, we already said family. Where he said love. Yeah. I got two. I got another two. If you want to throw that in too. No, I got this. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, this. Think, you got well, it. You I got that too. I, 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 you I got, got the end of the bridge here. So you, you I'm stopped, doing pretty I stopped good. that too. And I was like, I got oh, three. I, I got three. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I do. I do got three. I was, I was only even get two, but you got three. I got three. Hold on. Give okay. me two more right now. is tough. Yeah, it is. It's like a quiz. Good job. Good job, Anonymous. Whoever this was. Anonymous, good job. Silence. Hmm. 
That one, that, that one's one for me too. And then um, I would have to say, oh, I can't. I gotta get one in there. Hold on. Oh yeah, fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. I oh, got, I should have said laughing isn't living. I got, if you ain't laughing, you ain't living. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> you you saying that's about to throw me off? Um, selflessness. Okay, that's a good one. Sure. Sure. Right. And empathy. Oh, that's a good one. And patience. Because without patience, you right. can really miss what was in your hands. Right. I, and you can miss opportunities for sure, that for may sure. never come back. You're right about that. Be patient with the process. Trust the process. Big bro, I hear you. <laughs> Thank you for that, whoever that was. That's, that's cool. Yeah, you can continuously be anonymous, but we appreciate the subscriber question of the week. And we'll be bringing that in a little bit more and getting you guys more into this because without you guys, there is none of this. Exactly. So, and we'll make sure I won't go last next time when everything is taken up. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to start Joe off with that first. <laughs> well, that question. Because I wasn't thinking of some of that, the stuff that, 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 that he that, was going to say. So if I knew he was going to go there, then we would have just. No, I mean, it was crazy. because I'm gonna, That was that was fun, actually. Well, let's, let's just let's be real. You know, we had to cut it and look, look up the word. word. <laughs> oh, hey. It's all good, compadres. We learning as we go we still. We are. Hey. We still learning, you know. Where we at next, P? All right. So we, we did it. We went ahead and let it fly. And I think that was hitting people in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you. I think it's time to get a little, you know, a little deep and hit people in the hearts and stuff. Okay. All right. All right. I like so, that flow. Um, I want to just preference this with say, do you guys want me to start this? Because I have a lot to let it go. To let go ahead, go bro. Are you, we, are we talking about the show, episodes, our host. favorite go episodes? Or, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do, do that. Thing, yeah. Do your thing. So, do you want to no, save no, no, it up no, for no, last? No, no. That's I'm, I'm going to pose the question. Okay. So it's, it's perfect. A, it's a good one. Perfect. Perfect. So I asked you guys, so the audience know, let me know the most impactful experience with the guests that we've had on the episode thus far and how it's helped you guys in your lives. Cool. I like that back end. You want to so start that off, Joe? You get one guess. No, I don't want to start it off. I'll start it off. I'm going last. Okay, that's fine. And... uh you know, it's so funny, too, because um, I'm just going to call him Tommy B. <laughs> I'll go ahead. Tom Batelson. Batelson. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite things is is when we were all sitting down and uh, he said, you know, if you're going to stop drinking alcohol, you know, you don't you tell everybody and you don't say I'm going to quit. You don't say I'm going to stop. You know, I'm going yeah. to you say I'm done, you know. I, I, and people are going to leave you and that that whole segment man was was so impactful because it's it affects so many people and so I just remember that whole timing and, and what he said and, and the, the the message that it meant and it stuck it's and stuck right so now. good man and I was like so well spoken the way he did it and I was just like wow uh, I look back on that all the time and you know you put some music behind it sounds crazy and the story he was telling on that was really, really cool, man. And it, it was, it, it, it helped, it made me think about like, cause I know some people that, you know, really have an issue, you know, so that like, you know, go on benders, you know, like can't even hold a job down and mm-hmm. are really sick and shouldn't be doing it no more. And, and, you know, and it's not fun for them anymore, but you know, so I was able to, you know, that whole thing just made me think twice about everybody and everything going on with that. So I loved, I loved that Tommy B's his little, soliloquy there for I sure. second that yeah so do I that was one of my favorites I mean I really don't think I when we, this, this is hard for us to do because there's been a lot of, I know mm-hmm. I just I just I, I'm just telling my my yeah no I got it yeah, yeah that, that was yeah. my I was like Phew. um I'm probably gonna have to go with um you know I, I believe like Nick Ortega's story even though he's a mm-hmm. deep friend of mine and I knew a lot great guy and good um, guy I know that story with the son mm-hmm. and when he said that shit, it was touching, you know, and what went on in his journey to where he goes, you know, but at the same time, look, you know, press play with the whole, just show up. Right. Something so simple. I mean, that's why I really, I can't give one really. I'm trying that's to, a, but that's a great I would one. go with Nick probably. That's the I mean, question. Yeah, one, man. Yeah, yeah, what's the, what, so, what? So no, be Nick. Saying, but that was yeah, a great it, one. Yeah. Even there if was this to great, there was this mention. bunch of great ones. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, a nice so. honorable mention, and but Nick, yeah, his story, uh, yeah, his son, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Both of you guys just 
said the thing and it made me feel like I just relived the moment when they originally yeah, right, said it. Right. That's how impactful the words that they left with this was. And I hope, you know, it's helping anyone who's watching this and listening to this because this is what it's all about. Each one can teach one. Facts. Right. We're here to help. Even, you know, and you cannot heal if you're hiding your hurt. Yeah. So and those were like 30 seconds, you know, 40, a minute of stuff that people said that, you know. Well, and it just snap, crackle, snaps, and pop. Scraps. Right, where you at, P? Oh, you got this. Man, this is, this is a tough one, ladies and gentlemen, because I've been through a lot. Um, G up. Foster. Gotcha. He, ah, oh, man, it's going to be a hard one. Come on, man. Let's let it go. But he you got, got it, it brother. Show, sure, bro. You got it. Hearing his story gave me a perspective that I didn't know I was going to have. Got you. Almost died like three times in the last two weeks since the episode, man. Yeah, we know, man. And just like, y'all don't know what it's like to really go through stuff and really like put on this. It's not even put on, it's just be me. And just having someone on to express, you know, the taste of death and experiencing that for yourself. Like, this is no game. We do this for more than just us we're doing this to help like you guys and you know just just mm -hmm. it's just been a lot and i just want to say i'm not gonna die for nothing because i'm always now just just every day thank god and just continue to live because he's been blessing me since i got out and just like um i was talking to foster on the way over here and stuff and he was just telling me like i got i got some stuff in line for you man because we didn't even have a conversation and I felt you were you were going to have a breakthrough or a moment. And the moment with him is just so big to like everything I do, walking up the stairs, the hum. That hum was a song my grandfather gave to my grandmother. Right, right, right. This shirt is my grandfather's shirt. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know. So, like, this is not about me. It's about bringing people on who can help the next person not go through what either right. we've been through or get out of what we're going through. So it's just like I say, like everything, every moment, it should count. Because you never know when you're not going to be able to say, hey, I almost died. Because if I would have, I wouldn't be able to say that. So like for everybody who reached out, for everybody who, you know, even just like with my personal life, my job, who didn't see me and just like, you know, gave me the love and support. This I do it for y'all. Nice. So like. Just like I told Foster before I got the phone, I won't let you guys down because it's bigger than me. And you guys don't know, like, I got a lot of greatness in me, and I'm about to just let it out. Just let it out. Like, even even though I did the worst thing, which was create a distraction before I came on this episode today, which was hit up someone out of heart, and they did not take that pureness, I don't, I, hey, just let go and let God. Yeah, give that because determination literally us, bro. let go and let God yeah. like I cannot wait and I know this is going to be past the date but people who personally know me who know what this time of the year means I can't wait until I'm over it because the best person that's ever the best person that's ever been seen will be seen and what I was doing prior which got me to this point is going to be a 180 because I'm about to do even more Nice. I love you guys, nice. and I would not be able to do this shit without you guys. Nice. Man. So, like, ah. Uh, Joey Mitz broke your damn back right there. I don't know about nah, that. God but got geez. me. God got me. I don't even know if we need to say anything more today after that. that. I mean, that's that's just, a motivational piece. I actually, hey. I actually like, put the, put the foot on the brake because it's just, like, I can let out so much more verbally. And for the people who know me who say, oh, he talks a lot. I talk a lot because I'm no longer having anything to hide. People who want to give you half of who they are is people who are not afraid to be 100% of who they are. Sure. So all that, like, you know, living for likes, creating narratives, all this stuff, it all surfaces around to the one drug that's overdosing, on, well, people are overdosing on, attention. So let's turn our attention into the real stuff <laughs> and actually make a real difference because it's not about me, it's not about you, it's not about you. Sorry, Mark, but it's not about you. It's about what we can do to help the next person. Yeah, very nice, man. And that's all it's about, man. I like that, man. I like that that's a lot. I about. don't know who told you you talk too much because you don't talk too much. You, you talk, you, to, be, you, you be talk too much to the people you love. You that's, be surprised. That's what I think. And the funny thing is, the people that I talk the most to or try to talk the most to is because I see the hurt that you're going through because I've been there. Oh. And all I'm trying to do is help. But the pushaways, it's okay. Because when I was reaching, <laughs> don't worry. I'm just reaching and grabbing onto myself yeah. at this point. As you should. I feel you. So... 
SB Presser will be coming a household name very, very soon. Okay, you can, dang. You can bet that on like it. Like that. You can bet that on it. Just like that. Like that, like that. And um, I don't, you know what? Like, that's Wait, so crazy. Hey, host this show, bro. Where are we going? Oh, man. Damn. I got you. Oh, uh, man, I guess. I, I think, <laughs> I, I, oh, man, hold on. I think Lance is the only one who hasn't got really emotional on the show yet. I mean, I said. Oh no, pretty, no, no, no! I'm talking about tears. No, I'm not. He, yeah, I no, got but no tears behind the guys. scenes, he he's shown a lot of heart. Oh, oh no, yeah. of course he has. But I like we're not giving flowers no more because flowers die. Uh-huh. We're you giving we're, gi- we're giving golden nuggets gold around. Nuggets. I was I was gonna lie, I was gonna make a joke and say that the yellow stain's still on your grandfather's shirt, but from when he was wearing <laughs> it, from when he was wearing it, that's like that's how much it means. Right. That's how much it means, man. Cool, man. Hey, man, that was that was great, bro. And behind the scenes, man, Preston's been going through a lot. Yes, he has. SB Press will be in your face very soon. You guys don't know, man. SB just, Press yeah. is oh, going to be the motivational speaker of the year. Let me tell you, he's he's on a good he's on a roll support, right now. Thank bro. you guys, yeah. man. Like, yeah, all it, I got to give y'all y'all golden nuggets, man. I got to it. So this is going to get be even more emotional. <laughs> oh wow, and we're going we're time. going into more of this. Okay, okay. Let's let's do I'm, it. I'm hitting oh. him in the heart before we hit him in the gut. Okay, the punch is about to get y'all. There you go. Okay. So, wow! I want to start with Joe, man. Mm. I want to start with Joe because it took a horrible manager that I used to work for, a lazy, uh, what would I call him? Uh, Pompous prick. No, 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 no. I'm actually no, 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 no. (laughs) Sorry. No, no, no. A lazy, pessimistic person. And when you're a good person with good energy, you're surrounded too much by negativity. It starts to dim your light. (laughs) Right. So that's why when we came into this, my light was so dim. It was so much going on, and that's when the reaching part. And even when I said on this episode, like I meant what I said, and I said what I meant, Uh and I healed from that moment when I said I was hurting and I needed help. So, with that being said, Joe, dude, like. I told Tutu I wasn't gonna do this, which is cry so much. Um, I can't thank you enough, man. No, thank you, Pete. Like, thank you, P. You introduced like right. me to some solid people because yeah. you was a solid person from the start, dude. And whoever, I have to get this out of my heart because I love you, bro. Whoever makes you feel like you aren't are people who are not. That's right. Don't let them cloud your sunshine because you're dope bro you're dope and don't even know it i hope you guys know he's gonna be on the screen very soon when all this other stuff comes up because he's been working on his stuff he's been working on all these other things i don't want to say too much but he's been working we all been working but joe i don't think you get enough credit for the work you really do uh, thanks man and no. dude from the bottom of my heart man like again you were the paramount mountain in this you were you would initiate it these pieces and I just can't say enough, man. I love you and I thank you, bro. I love you too, brother. Thank you so much, bro. That, that, those are very kind words. And I know we talk a lot of shit, have fun. And I'm just glad you didn't call me a pompous prick. And No, you know, I, was, I did. The good. sad thing is, <laughs> my <laughs> mental, <laughs> since I have to work on my vocabulary <laughs> more because I'm hey, talking a lot thank more. Thank you for the kind <laughs> words. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the way he but said like, pompous <laughs> prick was just... I know, when he, when he said it, I was like, oh, wow. Well, what I was thinking of was not he was that, like, but... Um, oh. No, <laughs> but no, pessimistic. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's that, good. Yeah, I but pompous yeah. prick is good. I like that one. Lance, oh, uh, you, you, you fit your name more than you even think, brother. Lance the man. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know. Like, if I said that first, but if I. I think you did. If I did, man, I, I want to coin that for you. You did, brother. and I changed in my Instagram. Because you, you've been that since day one. A1 since day one. No matter, no matter what tough situations, you toughly get through them, and you help us through our tough times, bro. Like, I can't say thank you enough for everything that people don't see behind these scenes that you do and everything that you do on this camera. People don't understand, like, under these tables, I get taps. I get notifications of, like, hey, P, we got you. So, like, come on, P, show them. You said notification. I you know? love it. So it's like, I got a couple toe taps and stuff. I'm like, hey, shoe pug going to be mad at me. But, no, nah, like, like, straight up, man. Like, uh, we, we've been through a lot. We have. We have. And, you know, I told Titus the first time I talked to him by myself. Sure. No matter what, bro, I got him. I got him as his little bro. I got him, bro. And and your music is so brilliant. Y'all, I, y'all ears is not ready for what's coming. 
we nice. got we got something cooking up for y'all. So just stay tuned. It's nice. But man. I can't say this enough, Lance, dude. Like you have been. If I gave a if I gave a sports analogy, dude, you have definitely been a Popovich, bro. Ooh, mm-hmm. you definitely. I don't want to give you Belichick. Right. I don't give you, I <laughs> you a Popovich. That, I know. That, that Patty's that, that Patty's had <laughs> because it's really nice, man. Thank you because. Man. Even in the chaos, you're still trying to manage the structure within it. Even in the the rawness, the talent, and all that stuff, you're still trying to structure it within it. That's all Pop did. Yeah. And, bro, man, I love you, and I can't say thank you enough, bro. Love you too, man. Seriously. Love you too, man. I thank you, man. I love you too, Joe, man. So awesome, I love all man. y'all. Thank I you, love man. everybody in this room, man. I love P, you, P. I that love was you, crazy, bro. Mark, I love you too, bro. It came you know from that. the heart because, you, honestly, dude. before Seriously, I even got man. here, that's not even... I haven't heard better words yeah, that, said to me I ever in my not, life. I didn't expect this today. Uh, thank you, man. Seriously. And, really. and, and I'm going to say this, because Joe said this one time, and it's a joke. <laughs> Joe, P's, P's, you know, you, P, you do your thing, I do my thing, we all do our thing, you know, P's a hat giver. Well, <laughs> I, I, well here goes a funny. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hat giver because I realize people wear hats a lot and why they wear them. <laughs> We're going to leave that between these two. But I like I like my homies to have rotations. <laughs> roast. Hey, hey, so hey, hey, nice hey, hey, hold on. It'll do that. Only time I wear hats is when I'm having ha- bad hair day. It's been in and I'm bald. That's what you do that, do that voice again. Which one? Nice one. Hey, I'm going to do jo- Oh, yeah. Good. So you know what? Uh, good. Do it again. That was good. I got my dog Howie. That was and, uh, funny. That was funny. You, you see this tattoo over here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, that's what pretty good. Been, what you been in fam since? <laughs> <laughs> You're not a real fan. You ever been to the stadium? <laughs> You're not a real fan. Oh, you see this Oakland Raider tattoo on the back of my leg? Raider Nation. <laughs> nah, man, that was funny though, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh God. Because uh, it just reminds me of every guest that. Well, not every guest, but the couple guests that came on and done impressions of him. Oh yeah. Nick's Nick's is probably the best. Nick. I, okay. I think. Okay. I, what do you think? What do you well, think? What you think, Mark? Mark? What do you think? You heard Tom's. Messages? Tom's it's, isn't good. It's the, uh, Tom's is more funny. I yeah. think we, Nick's we, is we, Nick's is more spot on. Yeah. Which is interesting because Lance like, is pretty. Yeah. These are pretty good. Yeah, and that's why I was gonna. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, Lance is really good too. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yo, so Lance, can you do us the honor? <laughs> of what? Because <laughs> you've been one of the people on the podcast that gave us, you know, the mitts voice. Can you give us a little? Well, you know, dude, I mean, how do we trans how do we not give you some golden nuggets after you just did that for us, dude? I mean, we can't we can't sit back and you just tell us all that and then we just sit back and just let it ride, right? I mean He's right, man. He's right. He's right. I mean chill. Your your boy. Hey, 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 we'll just split him. Split me in half. Split him. Split him. <laughs> See, I told y'all I was a monkey in the middle. Split him. Split told y'all. Split him. You want to split him this you way? You do this top way. half, I'll do you bottom half. This way. Wait, hold on, man. Yikes. Hold on, man. Can nah. I always keep my head? Hey, no, nah, man. Um, um, I'm going to say this, but we'll edit it out. No. I, I remember the first. <laughs> hey, pause. <laughs> Big pause. <laughs> I remember the first time I met you, bro. And um, unfortunately, I was with this woman to go to the liquor store and saw you and you started talking shit about my Raiders and I found out I you take talked, your nuggets. Yeah, and, and you were about to say and I'm like, who is this dude? And after that the relationship grew. And then we made a bet and did all this and then you know you, you I bought was up, late you bought on paying up, the bet but I paid it. Yeah. <laughs> and you brought up the whole thing with the with the manager told you what you do and, and dude it's been a it hasn't been that bumpy of a ride. It's been a growth of a ride, and your growth, everyone's growth, but your growth especially, in the last couple of weeks, has been amazing to watch. Jordan that's Game what I 6. To, Jordan Game yeah, 6. That, that's what, to me, to, to, to watch, what's, watch from where I first met you to now is a beautiful f***ing <laughs> thing. I love when he says that. Okay? <laughs> and it just makes me happy, dude, that you're, you're on the path now. And we all have our times we go down and we come up. I'm a little down right now, but I'm moving a little bit. Okay? <laughs> little, You're helping little me move bit. a little bit. Little and bit. Lance is helping me move a bit. We all help. But, dude, your growth and everything that happened to you the past week and, and talking to you every day to see where you're at and what's going on and this and that and to see how you came out of it, you need to be damn proud of yourself, brother. You're a good man. You're a very good man. It takes- and if anybody says shit and you're not, then they got to come talk to the shit. <laughs> it takes a good man to know a good yeah, that's man. Right, bro. Real recognize real brother. I thank you and I appreciate that, yeah. man. Oh, 
keeping it together. <laughs> man, man, you've been, you've been, you, you know, cried enough this episode. You good? I cry every morning. <laughs> Thank God. Wrong with it a grown Thank man God. cries, bro. No, they all cry. Everybody cries, man, and they, they can they can be fake if they want. But yeah. I'll say this, you know, I met you in September, and I think of you as a brother. You know, I introduced you to my brother. He calls you brother. Mm-hmm. We're all brothers. You know, uh, Joe did put put the play together, but at the end of the day, you know. <laughs> the diligence of your work and uh you know the the growth like joe said but more so just the perseverance and everything that you deal with behind the scenes and right it's all inspiration to all of us man motivation and it couldn't think of a better i really can't think of a better person to be in a position that you're in now so you know regardless of what has happened you know you've held me down through so much you already know what time i'm talking about so but outside of that dude Regardless of what, I'm 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 very happy that you are my friend. So there we go, man. We're That's not friends, man. We family. That's right. He don't have friends. He we family, family, man. Mark. I I know I, I I gotta give this to you, bro. Just to let us into your place and believe in our dream and help us execute and keep believing, even when we had our moments where we didn't, and just kept pushing us. I wouldn't I would not change anything for nothing and it's mastermind or nothing bro facts straight up man i love you man when you reached out it hit me it hit me so hard bro because it's like it's nothing one thing i want to say is i don't want to die and find out who loves me All right i hear that i hear that and I hear that bro i hear that I had to That's reevaluate. Right I had That's to reevaluate geez. friendships yeah. Yeah. business yeah. like life mainly yeah. Yeah. And I had to make the sacrifice, which was the first step, which was having the individual conversations with you guys as soon as I got out. Yeah. And then just making making the steps and just being in the right places, showing up, trusting the process, mm. working. And every day since I've been out, I wake up. It's not even emails. It's direct calls or phone and text messages directly to these people who are trying to just make SB Press a household name. Though. There you go. There you go. So, like, man, like. That's what we created this for, bro. We we did this, and we still going to be doing this. Platform. Compadres, again, this would not be nothing without you guys. Facts. And I can't say thank you guys enough. And we got so much more in store, man. This yeah, is do. just 41. It is. This yeah. is just 41. Is 41. And, man, like, um, I don't think I don't think that the the entire episode has been nothing but, you know. Just, just greatness and everything, but I don't think they're ready to get hit in the gut. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and hit you guys in the gut. Definitely, one more time. definitely, a, definitely a good episode. I like, I like the direction so far. It's been fun. Give me, and this is just a, a personal question. One thing within the podcast this far that you regret. Give me one thing that you regret. <laughs> Starting from the beginning, from the beginning of everything, but from the beginning, just, just, or one, just, just so, one thing. Because you start from the beginning, it's going to be a plethora so, of things. So, so starting from the beginning of everything, I regret clearing out my apartment and <laughs> trying to make this <laughs> fake ass. <laughs> I got ready for this. And remember, oh, we oh like, my god! And dude. we got those red lights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we had a producer on. come over and try to. Sell, sell a working stuff. brain. I'm gonna shout him out. He's a good homie. He's yeah. dope. He's really dope. Yeah. He was which, cool. which show was it that he, he was he, working he on? He was, yeah, he, he was on, uh, he was on a bunch of stuff. The ba- he was working uh, on Big stuff. Brother, so all We were trying from yeah. the beginning to hit, yeah. hit hard, too. But so. I, that was just <laughs> the, and the, the video footage, which, oh, my God. I mean, the audio, you know, we had the, we hooked up the MTXs, and we had the, the you know, the Scarlet, you know. Oh, we I, were, I still remember. I didn't <laughs> want to say. Can I, let me finish, bro. Say, God. Let him go. I don't want to say. We had the Scarlet, and we, you know, man. Yeah, I, whatever. I lost train of thought. But yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead, go ahead, guys. Yeah, yeah. That was that was that was. Uh, that I was just remember the whole f-ing free for all we had when I was talking about phones and this and that. Everybody's gonna get a new phone, and then f-ing Preston goes, "What about the lights?" <laughs> I'm like, "What the f- are you talking about? The lights? We don't got the cameras." <laughs> it's well, five hundred dollars for lights. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was that, wow. <laughs> Cleaning out my apartment. Yeah, yeah I you mean, remember? You guys uh, remember? Yeah. Shit, I, you remember? I regret it. <laughs> like. Even like, okay, this table was not the biggest. So we clashed knees and stuff like that. But how closer me Lance and I used to sit because we were sharing a mic. 
was just like, oh man, I, know. I regret it. Like, dang, dude, we're talking about phones, we're talking about cameras. I came with two mics, the laptop, the interface, the program. It was a quarter of this table, probably. Everything, like all that stuff. And just like, damn, trying to mix. We off just need logic. one more mic <laughs> right. and how to understand this program. Logic. I regret nothing because uh, yeah, it took every step to get to where we're at. I, hear you. I, I really don't regret I anything. Don't. No, I don't have a regret. I, 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 I got one. I got one. I said you guys I, I'm not a bit, big Ooh. regret guy. That's Mark got answer. one. Mark got yeah, one. Yeah, I'm not a big regret guy either, but this is like a tiny one, kind of in the same lane Lance is talking about. So, um, so first of all, thanks. Love you guys too, man. Yeah, was, sure. This has been really amazing. And um, I'll do a two part. I'll talk about my favorite episode of, of with you guys. Oh, love that. <laughs> love that. We'll start there because uh, that ties into an, a, another thing I'm going to say. But I would say episode one. Cause that was that time where like, you know, I, I was still formulating what this place was going to look like. And you guys had this, this dream as you guys were putting it together. And then like we were able to join forces and it was like, you could, you could, you could sense something. And we were trying to figure out what that was and how to really just make it the best it could be. And uh, so I think that's a really special moment. I even remember when Joe first hit me up and I was like, you know, like, all right, let's, let's do this. And like timing and all that stuff. And my, my one regret is I had this TV <laughs> Downstairs, I didn't know where to put it, and I and because we set everything else up, but we didn't we didn't know what to do with the beginning. I remember with the that. middle. I remember, Lance told me about that. I was like, "Oh, shoot, you're right." Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know where to. I didn't know. I I thought about doing a TV, but I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna work and how. Like, because I didn't think about how we could air play and that kind of stuff. Right. And so that was just chilling downstairs for like the first few months, and it was just right there. <laughs> right there. And that was the complete like the completed part. So, um, so I regret not putting that up sooner, yeah. um, <sighs> because that was the final piece. That was like, okay, now we got so true. You know, the so true. Last puzzle piece. What was I love that too. Was that what was the second did you part? Have a second part too? That was the the oh, my favorite mixed. episode okay, gotcha, gotcha. with the guests and all this stuff. I would say the first episode just because okay, of okay, that gotcha, dream. Gotcha, gotcha. And the regret would be I should have had the damn the, the, TV. Gotcha, 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 <laughs> gotcha. Hey, everything took time, and you made the right time with that mastermind. Bro. I remember oh, when I so came yeah. in here with you guys and Lance. Like, what? Did you say anything about this earlier? And I'm like, <laughs> kind of know what? No, you didn't. You know what? Don't let me go. You guys are sure. Don't let me go in. We were looking at studios, bro, and you didn't say I shit. Have, I think I did. No, I still have the first it. visual recording that we did at my house. Yeah. With the uh, freaking uh, Egyptian <laughs> goat and that freaking drop for my freaking fireplace and stuff. I had to move. I thought that was a nice backdrop, actually. It was, it was, that wasn't bad. For, I mean, remember, we, seen worse. remember we did audio at Joe's? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Double yeah, I, remember, I remember <laughs> I remember before we all came together um, when I was doing solo episodes and stuff and I did the episode with Joe. Right. And then we had a conversation after that and that's when it just clicked and then I think within the next week. Yeah. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're over there he hit me getting messed up, throwing up. Because this guy. How to puke class. Yeah. That's how one how of do do our we, biggest clips. Yeah. We learned how to, you know, puke class. Puke class. Right, well, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta put the, you gotta put the Show him Joe, show him Joe. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> fucking tuck in the shirt and then you gotta go ahead and make sure you, uh, it's a it's uh, projectile. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. It's a projectile. Uh, I watched and that clip the other day actually. about the shirt. Tuck it in. Wipe your eyes. Yeah. Like nothing happened. Right? And just go back in the park like, hey. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, yeah, good funny. times, man. Good yeah. times, and we got more for y'all, compadres. Y'all just don't know what's in store. And like I said, this is just the beginning. For sure, the beginning. Can I take it somewhere real quick, please? I got a question. Yes. All right. So I was I wrote this down. Uh, so what do you guys think of this? There's not just one of you. There are many sides of you, and all of them deserve the best. What's your Ooh, interpretation? That was deep. You kind of touched on it a little bit yeah, about self care, yeah, yeah, self love, yeah. but. Like what? What do you? Where do you guys take that? You, I, I got something on this. Yeah. So I knew you would. You can't just love your physical, you I'm know. Damn right then on that. No one's gonna respect your mental, and this is going to because I don't even mean to get into this, but this is going also into, you know, I got a niece that I'm about to raise. Right. Right. So with that being said, I don't want her getting caught up with the internet is showing is the only way you can attract attention. Yeah. Because the internet is just pictures, unless you're watching us. Um, <laughs> we got the words. But um, it's, just, it's just pictures. So how do you expect anyone to take you serious when the pictures that you're posting don't even show that you take yourself serious? Facts. So again, I go back into if you really love yourself and you really have self-respect, 
you would have respects for other people around you. And I just had to, um, I just had to enlighten a young lady last night and explain to her because she's talked about the uncomfortableness. Well, the uncomfortableness is all the control thing, just like egos, just like attention and everything like that, just like social uh, being social. Mm -hmm. Anti-social does not exist. It's selective social. People pick and choose who they want to socialize with based on preferences. Facts. So I'm annoyed and tired when people say, oh, this person's a creep. This person's a creep in the gym. No one told you while you before you came outside of your house with certain way you're dressing, men and women, because this is not Directed gender bias. Yes. No one told you to come out the house the way you did. So if you had more self-respect, you would have respectfully came out of your house and not try to pick and choose who can say hello. Who can be complimentary? Who can look? Because I guarantee you, and this is for that one viral uh, clip that's going around with that girl in the gym calling that dude that a pervert. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. If we could not speak, how would he be able to even tell her he liked her? Right. By looking. Yeah. So he can't look. But I guarantee you, and I'm going to live and die by this, I guarantee you if it was Bad Bunny or Drake staring at him, they wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, so, pre- we'll preface this with, exactly. you got, you got, you're raising a kid social. now. Well, you're raising a kid now. So I have to teach her the right yeah, way. Exactly. And I need people... To do the right thing, because if people knew better, they would do better. Got you. That's it. Joe, gotcha. please, go. Because I was about to go, go, go. Yeah. Um, That's pretty much One it. of the best compliments I ever got was from someone I'll never see again, probably. And I was working. Oh, wow. That's and, an interpretation. Um, I didn't understand. I didn't there was, so. there, there was a couple younger kids, and they had a little bit of an attitude, and were throwing some shit, and, and she was with her dude, and the guy looks over and goes, hey, man, you need to leave a big man alone. That man's a chameleon. <laughs> I felt that when you said that because I know that. When, when, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, "You can say that." <laughs> I mean, there, there's there's so many when you, when you talk about what, what the words land said. I mean, there's Joe at work, there's Joe at the track, there's Joe when he's on the podcast, there's Joe in the act. But when you get down to the brass tacks of it, it's all me. Yeah, facts. I, I'm one of these people that read and react. And I've talked about this before. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. It does it as much as it needs to. Okay. Just sometimes it, it does it when it does. Too much. <laughs> Not so, too much. No. I don't want to have to bond you out. Anyway. No, you know, sometimes it does, but it really doesn't. But the thing is, I just react to how people treat me and how they emote to me. Gotcha. And that's what I am. And that's that's the actor part of me that just, that's who I am. And, and you're absolutely right because it rubs off on Howie. You come up with love, he's going to give you nothing but love. Oh, I mean, but that's, that's look, one thing about him. I mean, <laughs> intimidating. He's going to bark at your ass. Good bring back, man. Hey, but, but, but since you just brought that part up, mm-hmm. people have talked about my walk, but dude, I'm a big dude. I wasn't some, you know what I mean? Solid, yeah, I'm just some, I'm just, that's who I am, but... I, I think that's I should give you one of these. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 breaking my back. I, I promise. I, I'll be like, God, please. <laughs> but uh, that's how I, about what he said, that's God, how I, that's how I would say his... about it. Yeah. Twerking. <laughs> twerk, twerk. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, I barely touched you, believe me. There's the, big hands you don't know. So just imagine if he has intent on her, how much it's going to hurt. Oh, that's funny, man. So, even though you you pose the question, what's up? How do you feel about that? I think this. I, I, I mean, I think you guys all answered it very well. I mean, I, I, my interpretation is is pretty much similar. I mean, it, we all do wear different, you know, faces in different places, and it's not meaning you're two faced or no. you're jealous or you're envious or you're hateful or you're or successful or you're not. I look at it like this, you know, like I, I read a quote that really stuck with me, and it's you know, people really hate on like. Conor McGregor or Floyd Mayweather yeah, yeah. flash There's their so money, many haters. right? Mm. Bro, if you're in the right mindset, then you won't be hating on those people because that's what you should be wanting to obtain. Seriously, so like all the way. What are we talking about? Like everybody has to fit in a room, right? And if you're not moving and shaking in the room correctly, then nobody's gonna deal with you. And that's just how the world yeah. works. Just like you said about you know people are preference. They preference who they're gonna socialize with. Mm-hmm. So what does that do? That means if they got, if you're trying to obtain money, if you're trying to s- obtain success, if you're trying to obtain happiness, right, right. you're going to surround yourself with people that are likewise, right? Exactly. So 
that's what I meant by it. And that's what I, you know, took from it. So oh, I did want to add one more thing because yeah. I didn't want people to really think, oh, he's being biased. So, no. So the for the guy part, because I had this happen to me. This happened to me personally. You damn comments. So I haven't, so I haven't been out for a, about a week. Now, yeah, right. right? We don't, yeah. Nobody even but, knows. But that. the second yeah. day I go and I'm going to Balboa and I'm walking and stuff. And the wrong thing I wear is what? Gray sweats. <laughs> Didn't even know. I did not know. And we unfortunately, talked about that on the episode. unfortunately, <laughs> I, it just so everyone and I'm a I'm a very nice, kind person. So I like to say good morning. I didn't have to say good morning first to no one, and they just kept like, uh, "Hey, good morning." <laughs> and this lady almost ran to the. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just going." You haven't seen the that's, memes, dude. So the funny <laughs> thing is, I'm I was on the phone talking to Lance about some, some business dick was stuff. Sweet. <laughs> I wear briefs, but I just got front junk. I'm sorry. I wear briefs, keep it intact, but I got front junk, and I can't help it. But oh shit, that's funny. I, I'm like I'm, I'm on the phone with Lance having business uh, talks and stuff right, like that. Facts. And like you know, I, I tell him like, yo, my phone's about to die. But as as I'm like looking, I look up and I catch this lady looking like she wasn't looking. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yep. That's when I knew. That's let's bulge. let's go ahead and just finish. <laughs> and it it was it was. What That's like funny. seven eight in the morning? So it wasn't like it was no morning wood That's or nothing funny. like that. It was just just I natural. Me get personal now. That's no, 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 no. That was funny. Sorry, though. that was yeah. funny. That's we hilarious. ain't trying to do none of that game or none of that stuff. No. <laughs> No. Oh man, what a great, what a great episode, man. man. Boys' damn. night. So we went in hard. Right. With some motivation. You guys want to oh, go? Damn. Up? All right. Well, okay. I mean. Uh, I think probably, everybody's yeah. been talked. No, you, got, you, got, you got ten seconds each. I, I think funny. we had talked it out. I got it. Gee. Your greatness only amounts to if you can make those around you great. Okay. Are we think doing quotes, that. Joe? You? I, I actually have a quote. Okay, that I read the other day that I want to read. Eighty percent of the people who hear your troubles don't care. Okay. The other twenty percent. Are glad you're having them, and Tommy Lasorda said that. Oh. When I read that, I kind of lost it in a way. I got really emotional, and it's the truth. I don't, you know, there. We all think that we have these people that care about us and what we're doing. They don't give a shit, bro. They don't give two shit. You got maybe five percent that love you, no matter what you do. Will tell you Thank when you're you. wrong. Will tell you you're right. And everybody puts on a face and this fake and this and that and when you when you have when you meet people it, it's just a game and when you, that's what you know when i when i don't want to go back to anything but that root in the trunk that's it everything else comes and goes so i won't say anymore mark's mad <laughs> i'll say young money cash money hey. get money hey. <laughs> hey. let's do this make it funny <laughs> All right, compadres, <laughs> you know what to do at this point in the time. That's at C-O-M-P-O-D-R-E-S. And always to my left, Ilson himself. I am underscore Ilson. And also to my right, Joe Rosati himself. The real Joe Rosati. And I'm your boy, SB Press. And like that, we're gone.